to watch the full lecture of all subjects kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon because whenever i post the new videos you will get the immediate notifications hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this particular video we'll solve one more problem related to financing decision the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question or at least pause the video and write down the question it's better that you start solving along with me the following information is available in respect of a product so regarding one product they are given the information units sold so total units sold is 30000 units and sale price so per unit they are selling at rupees 10 what to move the sara unit galna sale madidare prati ondu unit na 10 rupayige save sale madidare fixed charges are 40000 and variable cost per unit is 6 rupees variable cost per unit is 6 rupees prati ondu unit ku variable cost is 6 rupees ide tax rate is at 50% and 10% debt capital so this is a new concept 10% debt capital so the debt capital is total 1 lakh for that we need to pay 10% interest what to 1 lakh shah debt capital is there at the end of the day 10% interest in the code calculate all the leverages for calculating leverages first we need to prepare the income statement first in income statement we will have sales so regarding sales information what they have given Total 30,000 units is sold at 10 rupees. Most of the units na 10 rupees sale marta idare. So here it will be 30,000 units into 10 rupees per unit. So per unit value is 10 rupees. So when we do this, we will get 30,000 into 10, 3 lakh. So sales is 3 lakh rupees. From sale, we will sales we will deduct variable cost sales in the now variable cost in the first minus multi variable cost what they have told variable cost is six per unit one the unit case six rupees variable cost and the other so the total units total units is thirty thousand units into rupees six rupees so thirty thousand into 6 rupees mandaga 1 lakh 80 thousand so this is variable cost after we minus it we will get contribution and the minus mandaga we get contribution how much is the contribution 1 lakh 20 thousand from contribution we need to deduct fixed cost contribution in the now fixed cost in the direct market how much is the fixed charges it is 40,000 rupees so 40,000 rupees fixed charges other than now contribution in the deduct market so we deduct 40,000 so when we deduct that we get EBIT okay or it is also known as operating profit Contribution in the fixed asset, fixed cost in our deduct madhaga namge EBIT athwa operating profit sigate. How much? 80,000. From that, we will reduce interest. Usually, interest is given on debt capital. So, here, how much is a debt capital? Debt capital mele interest na kurtivi. How much is a debt capital? Debt capital is 1 lakh rupees and 10% interest is given. So it will be one lakh into ten percent. Ten percent on one lakh is ten thousand. If we minus that, we get EBT. It is also known as earnings before tax. How much eighty minus ten thousand is seventy thousand from that we need to reduce from this particular what do you say like uh, 70,000 we need to deduct tax EBT ke now tax in a deduct market tax at 50% so they have told that tax rate is how much tax rate is 50% so if we deduct tax rate Okay, so it will be 70,000 
into 50 percent 50 percent on 70,000 is 35,000 35,000 we will get EAT deduct Martha can get EAT sigate EAT is nothing but earnings after tax earnings after tax so 70 1000 uh, minus 35000 will be 35000 so only information is given up to the tax rate so further we cannot solve the problem next they have asked us to calculate all the three leverages so now let us calculate all the three leverages now next step will be calculation of leverages in that first leverage is operating leverage what is the formula for operating leverages? Formula for operating leverages is contribution divided by EBIT. Now, what is a contribution? Contribution is 1,20,000. EBIT is 80,000. So, 1,20,000 divided by 80,000. It will be, you have to divide. So, 1,20,000 divided by 80,000 it will be 1.5 and we represent it in times so OL is 1.5 times next leverage we have that is financial leverage so the formula to find the financial leverage is EBIT divided by EBT EBIT divided by EBT. So what is EBIT? EBIT is 80,000 then EBT is 70,000. EBIT 80,000, EBT 70,000. So it will be 80,000 divided by 70,000. When you do that, we will get financial leverages. So 80,000 divided by 70,000 we will get 1.4 times 1.4 times we, we will represent it in times next is we will last leverage it is combined leverage combined leverage the formula is contribution divided by EBT. So what is the amount of contribution? Contribution is 1,20,000 then EBT. EBT is 70,000. So 1,20,000 divided by 70,000. 1,20,000 divided by 70,000. We will get combined leverage. So 1,20,000 divided by 70,000 will be 1.17 times sorry 1.71 times combined leverages will be 1.71 times this is how we need to solve the problem hope you have understood this problem very well please practice the problem by yourself once if you get any doubt please post your doubts in the comment box so that i can respond to your doubts as soon as possible thank you for watching the video i'll come back with the next video if you have any queries regarding today's session Kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.